Hello and welcome here. In today's video, I will let you know more about Stage Manager. I've been using it since release and it's been quite some time now. I will let you know how good or even how bad it is after this long term review. So let's get started. Just before we get started, Stage Manager is available in all M chip iPads and any iPad Pro since 2018. So now let's get right into it. First, let me tell you how to actually activate Stage Manager. It should appear in the control center. It is this one right here. But in case you don't have it and it's not shown right here, you can go to settings, control center, and then you can add this one right here from the bottom list. You can activate it by just pressing on it in the control center, and this way it is actually on right now. So now, as you can see, if you open Safari, for instance, it will appear in our window form. Not only that, we can actually, uh, you can't with the Apple Pencil, but you can with your finger or with the mouse, which I will show you in just a second. You can resize it to whatever size you like. But let me just connect my mouse so you have a better uh, understanding. I just pressed on my PC. I will just remove it in a second. So here I connected the mouse. It's a Bluetooth mouse, the Logitech Pebble. And this keyboard that I have right here is the Logitech K380. I am going to make uh, videos on them. So make sure to watch them. Now let me just uh, show you again. Here you can resize it. And an update that they have brought out, which is actually very good and wasn't uh, really available on release, you can now uh, center your window wherever you like on the screen. Not wherever you like, but they give you a little bit more options, as you can see right now. That wasn't available uh, on release. And what's really nice, you can open multiple of uh, different uh, uh, applications of the same application or multiple different windows. So let's see right here, I will go to a new tab. I don't, didn't want a new tab, I wanted a new window, which I will do right here. Show all windows and I can just add another one. Now something that wasn't available uh, at the start was also to uh, easily uh, choose between windows. I will open one with Google and one I will leave it on Safari so that you have a better understanding. If I close them, you couldn't really uh, choose which one you wanted easily. You had to like choose on show all windows, then you can uh, select which one you want. Now you can e a little bit more easily choose which window you would like to open. Now the three dots, you can uh, press on them to minimize, which will still leave the application open and you can reopen it from here, from the side if you want, and you can just drag and drop. The second option, you can uh, add another window, which I should have done from here. And you can open like two applications at the same time as uh, let's say files i've added files to the two safari windows that i had open and the last option which i have is the enter full screen and it enters full screen as just said so now let's get back into it now what's really great is that you have the ability to open multiple of applications on top of each other which is really nice it gives you more like a pc uh, feel like and more of a laptop feeling than you would with a normal uh, iPad. You can also uh, manage to open like two apps side by side if you want. You can just uh, adjust accordingly. It's very easy to do as you can see. Now it's much more fluid than it was on release. As you can see, it used to be like a nightmare when it uh, got released. And if you have an M chip iPad, you can connect it to the display and you can actually drag and drop between these two displays. It will work as an extra display for your iPad, so it's a second monitor which you can use with the controls on your iPad. Another thing is you can actually open applications uh, through the search bar. If you uh, press command and space on your keyboard, you can search for whatever application you want. But if you have uh, the application library here, you can press it from below. Or you can do it with your finger as well. And it is just as easy, you just drag and drop whatever application you need. Feature which I also use a lot, you can open like, for instance, a calculator. And you can just keep it uh, like a small form, just like a normal calculator would be, a scientific one. And when you are done using it, you just press on these three buttons and you minimize it. And you can always access it easily from the side. It's much more fluid than it was, which is very great that you can drag and uh, your uh, window to whatever location you want on screen is really nice it wasn't available before more feeling that it is actually a professional device which you can use for your work instead of your laptop so this was it it is much better than it used to be 
and uh, honestly I don't use it unless I have a mouse and keyboard connected it's not really that ideal when I use it with my Apple Pencil or with my uh, hands as you saw it's not uh, you can't really uh, minimize the applications it will just open here as the quick not notes and it's not as fluid as with the mouse and keyboard no, it's a nice feature as you can see well, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one